We're kicking off this summer cooking one of our favorites and we're doing it slider style. Whether you're cooking for a big party or something simple and fun for the family, you've got to try these cheesesteak sliders. You want to see how we do it on the Pit Boss Sierra Griddle? Then stick around while we dig in. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brad. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it or what time of year we're doing it and we're swinging into summer for this one as the sunlight blares in. Let me fix that real quick. There you so go. So you know it On is the spot. happening. Real <laughs> time <laughs> adjustments. <laughs> True profesh right here. But you know, ever since I saw the King's Hawaiian commercials, the new slider buns, they're not new. We've had that. We've seen the slider buns. Yep. But they were on sale at Publix. Buy one, get one free. So we had to get them and we knew we had to do as Guy Fieri did in the commercial these who wants some cheesesteak sliders we do and we're going to show you how we throw them down adam let's jump right in yeah let's get to the groceries what, what are we looking at here man here we go we've got this very thinly shaved ribeye it's shaved so thin you can only see one side <laughs> we're also going to be sauteing this yellow onion that we have chopped up right here diced up right here top it with provolone and here we go the king's hawaiian slider buns also not pictured is butter we'll be using to saute the uh, onions in but otherwise that's it nope. it's a, and usual suspects oh and usual suspects you didn't get that as well we could keep talking about it we could just hop to it and let's get and show you what we're doing on here, here. we go super simple we love this let's get over to the griddle yep so we're doing how much we're doing about a cup of of onion this is let's yellow onion like chopped onion so i'm gonna go about a tablespoon and a smidge by the way this is butter. half of a large yellow onion so how we're gonna that? go ahead and toss the onion in with that and where's my utensils we're gonna use salt and pepper right Okay, so we, you can use salt and pepper, but we do have our usual suspects. The mix for this will be down in the description below the video. Thanks to Uncle we Steve, by the way, he gave us, he gave us his original in this, uh, in this uh, specialized, customized uh, bottle with our, uh, with our logo, our old logo on it. So we just repurpose it and put our usual suspects in it. So there we go. Shout out to Uncle Steve. All right, so we're gonna usual suspects in the onions here. And we'll let these go for a couple minutes before we start getting the ribeye cooking up. Brett, this is cooking so fast. Look, some of these are already crisping up. You wanna get the ribeye going? This, these are these yep. are close enough, dude. Do you want uh, oil down? No, I mean, remember, butter? butter? Yeah, let's put a little butter for the ribeye. We're gonna use about, same thing. I'll use about, about a two tables, two, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half yep. right there. The carry gold, if you know, it's a little more dark yellow butter. But it's so good. I'm gonna try to shave this down. So this is shaved thin ribeye, and you'll see how thin this is. This is all gonna cook in one big heap. But it doesn't matter because my intent is once we get this, I'll kind of chop this apart and pull this apart. Just want to get this mixed in. In fact, Brett, that's already searing on that side. That's awesome. There we go. That's the one I'm looking for. And some usual suspects over here yet? Uh, just a second. Let me, yeah, you can go ahead. I was trying to get more surface area for more sear on the steak. Now we are being pretty liberal here with the usual suspects. Oh, Brett, you want to see how quickly that is searing? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> this is nuts, bro. Wow. <laughs> and nothing is thinking about sticking. So as I'm chopping this, ribeye pulling it apart Ooh, that griddle is hot dude yes it is and we've got this on low by the way but we also have it out in the sun so we recognize we're going to get a lot more surface heat with the sun mm -hmm. brett look at those dude i know look All at right. the way what look do you think about the sear. onions i'm gonna mess with them for a minute i got them adam doesn't want me to touch this good. yeah you can go ahead dude. he's all i'm gloved up let me do it Ooh. Okay, with as hot as this is, Brett, I'm killing the middle one because we don't need it. Okay. This is just about cooked through, which is all we're waiting. And then we're gonna go ahead and introduce the onions and the ribeye. So some of this is still pink. We'll give it another minute. Now at this point, all we need to do is just cook this through and that's it. So the onions are sauteed. They've got this light yellow tint to them. Not quite translucent, but almost there. 
So I'm gonna introduce the onions. Onions, over. meat, beef. Onions, meat, oh man, ribeye. Now the only thing left to do is to cheese these up. So what we can do, we're gonna kill the heat here. Now we're down to one burner and then I can control this. I can put this on the immediate heat or pull it off here, which is where I want to go, right over here. So we just noticed as I pulled in all the onions, I normally will do a little bit at a time. This time I, I was so excited I pulled them all over. So this is a little onion heavy, but I'm sure the flavor is gonna be spectacular. So we decided, let me go ahead and lay these out, kind of flat. And Brett, let's lay some cheese on this. How there about go. that? I got it. I got four slices ready to go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh, okay. Do you see me? Adam asked if I could let him man this, and now I see why. He had a plan. No, he didn't. I just like, oh yeah, cheesesteak sliders, you got it. All right, so here is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping this works out, Brett. Ready? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cheese pull heaven. Yeah, I'd say those are working out just how I'd hope they oh would. Oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> oh this is so gosh. fun to watch. Oh, that one, I, that one pulled all the, so we're gonna have one cheese, just cheese sandwich. The ones in the middle are gonna have a little bit more meat there, but obvi. No, there we go. We'll get some of this cheese tucked under there. There we go. I don't know if it's an advantage or a disadvantage, the fact that I'm standing right over the smell. <laughs> it smells so good and I'm so hungry. Okay, look at, let's get the rest of this goodness. Look at that plate. Just look at that plate. They are in all their glory. We pulled them onto the uh, pulled them pulled them onto our little baskets. It worked out perfectly. Uh, from the time we laid the onions down to the time we pulled the steak was less than ten minutes. Yeah, about ten minutes. Maybe. I would say right on. This man. is this so is, cute. They are so cute. Are they still hot? Or are we good enough? To I think we're good in? enough. Like we say, though, bread it can look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. Like we say, yeah. it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah, you can. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, this is all, all for that. <laughs> I'm laughing because of all this excess that I got. I've got Cheers. Some... I'll eat to that. My brother. Mm. Oh. I'm not doing cheesesteak any other way. Mm -mm. It is so good. These Hawaiian Kings Hawaiian rolls add such a nice sweetness to the usual suspects savory. It, it is so soft mm. and goes so well with that. Pillowy soft. Mm. Mm. And that ribeye, mm. unreal. And the butter. Mm. Yep, you gotta try this. You have to try this. It really is fun getting to come and do these cooks. We say this all the time because it makes us be inventive knowing that we wanna present new cooks. This is one that will be a rotation at the house. 100, absolutely. It's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. And we're so happy we shared this one with you. Thank you Kings Hawaiian and Guy Fieri for doing it in that commercial saying, who wants a cheesesteak uh, slider? Because the we wall did, twins, the wall and twins. now we've done it, and now we see why. Absolutely amazing. We are having a get together later on, so we'll save the rest of these. Well, will we? Maybe we'll have some we'll order some pizza. <laughs> we know. We, yeah, that's, uh, Dad, I thought you were cooking. Well, we did. <laughs> we had an incident, <laughs> but enjoy the pizza. Uh, man, this is absolutely fun. We love getting to come and do this. Yeah, we do. 
You're happy you came and saw this, like we're happy we came and did this, but it really did give you another idea, something else that you can cook or you just enjoyed the video. Make sure and give this a thumbs up. I never know what he's gonna say, give this a thumbs up, so I'm just like, my hands are ready. But we really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is make sure I get the lighting good. <laughs> You can support us by making sure that Adam gets the lighting good. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to our store in the description below this video. Brett, I'm yes. loving that we get to come do this. Yeah. Brett, aside from coming to knock out another banger, something else banger. that will become a regular within our households. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And green along.